Well, what is up, everybody? Thank you guys again so much for joining us online. Hope you guys are having an amazing morning. Well, here's the thing. So this quarantine thing is, is treating me badly in two areas. Number one is I miss my friends. I miss hanging out with them. I'm blessed to be able to work. I'm still working here at the church, and I still get to be and work with all of my closest friends, which is pretty amazing. Not all of my closest friends, but most of my closest friends. And the second part is, is that the snacks are killing me. It's killing my body. And I don't know about you guys, but this, the quarantine snacks that I really want to enjoy are not the ones that are good for my body. My wife tries so hard to get me to eat healthy, and sometimes I'm motivated and sometimes I'm not. I just feel like sometimes I just like, I want to take healthy things and just dip it in cheese or chocolate. Either one of those is fine with me. And I want to get into shape. It's just a matter of what shape I want to get into. And so um, I am stuck on these snacks right now. And right now it's just, it's just tough on me. And so there are some good things that you can feed your body, and there are bad things that you can feed your body. And just like I can feed my body good things or bad things, I can feed my soul good things or bad things. Now, what is your soul? Your soul is who you are. Your body is what you see, but your soul is what makes you who you are. Your soul is the seat of your emotions, your desires, what you like, what you don't like, who you are as a person, your personality. It's who you are as a person. That's what your soul is. And your soul is the most important part of you. Your soul is the part of you that goes to heaven or hell one day. If you accept Jesus, you get to go to heaven. That's amazing. But your soul is so important. And you, just like you feed your body, you can feed your soul. Now, if I were to feed my body only bad things all the time, what would happen to my body? I would be gaining a lot of weight. I could get some disease. My body might start to shut down. I couldn't go upstairs without getting winded. You know, your body doesn't like being um, um, out of shape, but it's, that's what happens when you feed yourself bad stuff all the time. And what happens when you feed yourself good stuff? Good things happen, right? Good results happen in your body. You start to lose weight. You feel more energy. You start to be able to do more things. It's awesome. You, you can uh, put disease off and out of your life if you can eat and, and exercise and be active. And it's the same thing with your soul. You can do good things for your soul or bad things for your soul. Now, I have some snacks here. Now, these are two of my favorite quarantine snacks right now. Not these two, but I've got my second one over here. I'm just going to hold these up, and I want you to yourself say this with me. Say which one you think is going to be better for your body, kids, okay? So one number here, I have uh, barbecue chips, okay? There's barbecue chips, and here I have a bag of spinach. Now, which one of those do you think is better for you? Obviously, the spinach. I have another snack over here. This is my favorite snack right now. It's, it's absolutely dangerous. These are chocolate covered, like pomegranate flavored berry things. And they're chewy and they're delicious. I'm just gonna hold this up. Maybe they'll sponsor us, I don't know. But I've got these snacks here. These are like chocolate covered uh, fruit flavored snacks. And then I have a box of strawberries here. Which one of those do you think is healthier? Obviously the strawberries, right? Well. How, do you, how are you able to tell what is good for you and what's bad for you? What do you have to do? You have to look at the back. You have to look at the ingredients, right? You have to look at what is in the thing that I'm putting in my body. That's how you're able to tell what's good for you and what's bad for you. And it's the same thing with your soul. You feed your soul things all the time. And sometimes you do it without even thinking about it. It's, it comes through your eyes, your ears, your, your, your thoughts. It comes through what you watch on TV. It comes through what you listen to, the type of music. It comes through your friendships, what kind of things are in them. And so if you want to be able to find out if I'm feeding my body good things or bad things, you look at the ingredients. You do the same thing with your soul. If, what is in this TV show that I'm watching? Is this good for my soul? Is this going to make me close to God? Is this going to make me a better person? What is in this song that I'm listening to? What is in this conversation I'm having? What is in the thoughts that I'm, that I'm meditating on all the time? What is in this friendship? Is this a good friendship for me? Is this a friendship that's putting me in a place where I can be closer to God? Or is it a place where it's dragging me away? We have to be able to look at what is in the things that I'm feeding my soul so that you can find out what's good and what's bad. And obviously what's good, the best thing for your soul, is the Word of God, the, the very spoken Word of God in the Bible. It's worship, it's listening to that wholesome good music, it's, it's being in His presence, the presence that cleans us, the presence that makes our spirit and our soul active and alive. It's the good stuff that we can feed our soul. And so when you're locked down in quarantine, when you're in your house and you're not going to school and you're not going out to eat and you're not going out to the movies and you're not going out and doing all these fun things, you're staying inside your house, you have so much time. And time could either be your friend or your enemy. It depends on how you spend it. And so I encourage you guys, evaluate what is going into my soul. What am I watching? What am I listening to? What is going on in my soul? What am I feeding myself in my soul? What kind of friendships do I have right now? Are these good friendships? Are these things that are good for me? 
you have to be able to look at the back. What is in the things that you're putting in your soul? And then you can find out what's good and what's bad. And then cut out the bad. You know, bad food, everybody says you can have in moderation. I can have ice cream if I just have a little bit of ice cream now and then, right? It's not going to be that bad for me. But what if I eat ice cream every single day? It'd be bad. Well, you can have bad food in moderation, but I don't encourage you to have sin in moderation because even a little bit of sin has great power in you to drag you away from what God has for your life. You know, the Bible says in the, in the very beginning with Cain and Abel, God speaks to them and he says this. He says, be careful because sin is crouching at your door. Its desire is to destroy you. Its desire is to come after you and drag you away from the calling that God has placed on your life. And so even a little bit of sin is really, really dangerous. I have a scripture here from Psalm 42, verse 11. It says this, Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. This is David, and what he's doing in this psalm, what he's doing in this verse, is he's choosing to change what he's feeding his soul. He, he, it, it's one time he's thinking about the fear and he's constantly focusing on his enemies like Pastor Jordan was saying. Those people were going to go into their promised land, the land that God was going to give them. But guess what? Those people were bigger than them and, and this and that and their land is not that good. And so they were focusing on all the wrong things. They're feeding their soul this bad stuff. And what happened? They stayed in the wilderness. And they wandered around and around and around and they never got to experience the good things that God had planned for them. Well, David decided to change his mind, and you can too. You have control over your soul. Say that with me. Say, I have control over my soul. You decide what your soul experiences. Do you want to be discouraged and sad and filled with fear all the time? Or would you rather have love and joy and peace in your soul? Would you rather have those fruits of the Spirit that God has promised you? I, for one, would much rather have those second things, the good things that God has planned for me. And it all depends on what you feed your soul. So I encourage you guys right now, I'm just going to pray for us and, and have the Holy Spirit help us decide what is good for us and what's bad for us so that we can make a change and see our soul get closer and closer to Jesus. Amen? Well, Jesus, right now in Jesus' name, we just thank you, Lord, for every kid and every parent watching, every family member watching right now online. And we just pray for them right now, God. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to come into their heart and reveal to them what, is, what they've been putting in their soul that's bad, what they've been putting in their soul that is not good for them, that's dragging them away from the plans that you have. I pray that you'd reveal it to them and then help them, give them the strength, the power, and the courage to destroy all that sin, to get rid of all that junk they're feeding their soul, and to replace it with the sweet, beautiful, good-for-you Word of God in the presence of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.